Every time I try to bring someone into my live, it does it. Every time. I was telling everybody it's probably going to do it, and it did. I was like, dag on it. It's okay. We'll get that lined out sooner or later, whatever's going on. This is funky ass shit, man. I'm not a pineapple fan, but it's not that bad. I had it sitting right here. Yeah, that's it. I gotta take my fucking Zer take there. Ah, oh, crap, I dropped it. Oh, I can't stay, but all allergies, man, they're starting to hear them. Here they come. Sorry about that, guys, while I go. Uh, every time I try to bring someone on camera, it knocks them, the sound for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why it does that. Like I told her, I was like, if I try to bring you on, it's going to knock my sound if you don't come on. You see what I mean? And after we get done talking, it does it anyway. I'm going to have to update uh, or something. Something's going on there. Sorry about that, guys. I had to take my allergy meds so the, my nose don't run every three damn seconds. Killed, kill me, kill me. These allergies are tearing me the fuck up. That's why I was just now take my Zyrtec. That's what I take, Zyrtec, or uh, that's the only thing my son will take too. Zyrtec or the other one, uh, and Claritin. Claritin. That's the ones that work for us, you know. No, that's my insurance, of course. That's what West Virginia's insurance, you know what I mean? I love a few other states too, you know what I mean? Hold on one second, hold on one second. Yeah, brother. What do you need? Eight milligram, ain't they? I know what they are. You know that. Yeah, you got the eights. You hear me? These are eight milligrams. Thank you. I got the fours. I didn't have no eights. I didn't know you had eights. Now I got eights. He needed nauseous. My brother got nauseous there, so I took him in his old friend. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, good night, Chris, man. Good seeing you, man. Uh, next time you'll go up to the games or whatever, let me know. I was actually going to go to that game when all that stupid shit happened. But I'm going to get one uh, very soon. We're going to be going to. I'm hoping we can turn it around, man. Stevenson, it's going to be unbelievable, and we can make the tournament and do something, make a big run. I got faith in us this year because that team is really good it, when they're playing. They actually are. They need to understand how to spread the floor more. Once they do that, we're young, we'll, we'll win. They're a good team. I've not seen us have a team like that since Huggy had to... Uh, What's his name? Joe Alexander. That boy's better than Joe Alexander. And uh, uh, you just got, uh, what was it? Damn it, what was that fucking weird name? You just got pit snoggled. His name was Pit. Alex Picks. No, that was Alex. Uh, what's his name? But Pit Snoggle was, <coughs> I think, Matt. Something like that. I'm not sure. But yeah, we we've had some good teams here, man. We got we actually took it back in uh, I think it was 2011 was the year we won it when we beat Kentucky, and then when I had to play Duke the next game, and Kentucky was just loaded with John Wall, Patrick Patterson, Demarcus Cousins, and all them. We we kicked their ass majorly, and everybody knew that was the championship team. So when we won that right there. 
it took all of our fucking players and guts. You know what I mean? That, that was the Elite Eight. And we had to play Duke the next game in the Final Four to go to the title. In our hearts, we feel we won that national title that year because we beat Kentucky. Kentucky was the team that had to be beat because Kentucky was the best by far. That's in my opinion, you know what I mean? And a lot of other Mountaineers in his opinion in our hearts. In 2007, we should have been a national football champions, you know? West Virginia don't get much love because we got maybe a million some people in our state total. You know, it's crazy. Maybe two, if that, if that, anywhere near that. I know it's not two. It's if if it's anything, it's one and a half, something like that. Nowhere near. It's close to two, if anything. My brother can tell you like that. Because uh, that's just that's why we've never had a revenue, you know, stream in here or nothing. We need a team. We got a team. They're called Charleston Power. You know what I mean? And they're one hell of a uh, what do you call it there? Minor league baseball team. Triple A for the Pirates. Uh, out of everybody, we have to be the fucking Triple A Pirates team. That shit pisses you off right there. All of our players end up in Pittsburgh. And some Cincinnati. And I ain't seen none hit Cleveland yet. I should have fucking balled out, man. If I knew I could have got in all them other ways people did, you know what I mean, in baseball and things like that, I probably wouldn't end up on a professional team somewhere. Baseball was the easiest game I ever played. I was an all-star every year. That shit, you know what I mean? Led the team in home runs, steals, RBI, you know, you know batting title every year, all that. We was, uh, I'll never forget it, you know what I mean? We had won 22 straight games, and we played the Braves that year. That's called the team, whatever county Braves down here there was. And uh, it was 11-11. You know what I mean? And I was up the bat and hit an inside the park home run to win the game. <laughs> That's how fast I am, man. You know what I mean? It's funny as fuck. As soon as I seen it, when I was rounding second, I seen it bounce off the fucking wall. I knew then. I was rounding third. As soon as I seen it do that, because I knew he was going to have trouble fielding the ball. And he wasn't going to throw that all the way fucking from the wall 400 feet you see what i'm saying so i just kept running i knew he had to go to his lead man i beat it by about five feet people couldn't believe that and won the game 12 to 11. did the same kind of shit in football too with three interceptions i was a quarterback uh uh the trans am that was, uh, you know what I mean? That car was in my family my whole life. Uh, but anyway, uh, I went ahead and sold it and shit there and went and got my 88. I'm a Mustang man. I always have been. I love my Fox bodies, man. That's like the eighth Fox body that I've owned. You know what I'm saying? Like the eighth one. I had the 89s, I've had the, you know what I mean, 84 I just sold not long ago. Uh, then you see the photos of that black one sitting beside my blue and white one when I had them like that. I had three Fox bodies out there at one time, you know what I mean, and got the square body F-250 out there with the 351, Dana 60, dual tanks and everything. It's for sale actually. 95 F-250 Ford 351. I was going to buy it off my brother and swap engines and put that 351 that Mustang and you're talking about roaring. Motherfucker be like a motherfucker. I looked at a 429 Cobra Tourette too. The 93 Cobra was only made. 293 of them was made. <laughs> only that fucking year. You know that? That's it. Was it the SVT Cobra? The orange, orange is red.
Yeah, I believe you showed me a picture of it because you drove it to work, right? I think it's the same one I'm talking about, the 351 and everything. Yeah, baby. You're fucking right. That's it, ain't it? I'm telling you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's right. There's only like that a few thousands of them made or a few hundred made. But see, I know my shit about the 93. You see what I'm saying? I'm getting the other one. I know what I'm getting confused with. You know what I mean? And a lot of people don't understand the 64 and a half. Yeah, it was your first Mustang design. But it wasn't the first real Mustang because they fucking discontinued it halfway through that year. Because the gas tank. Just like a Pinto. Ain't that right, Lance? If they got hit in the ass, they usually, you know what I mean? Yeah, I said the S SVT, brother. That's the Cobra R. See, there, that's the one I'm see only 103. I thought it was only 293 or something like that. How it's the 93 Cobra. See what I'm saying? 103 made, 293. She went, that's, a, that's what got in my head, buddy. But you see, what I don't know my shit. But the SVTRs was only a very, very few of those made, man. I'm telling you, you can look it up, whatever. I know my shit. But, uh, uh, me and Callie came up. We missed the 65 by one day. One day. One day. What's up, Punchy? My brother. Rockin' money. You know what I'm gonna be rockin', baby, always. Everything, everything. I went all out. I got the new Nick Chubb 1946 jerseys, our new ones. I will. They're 150 bucks a piece. Bought me and Junior one, Punchy. Hold on, I'll get it in a minute and show it to you. You know, I got the custom, the 2017s. When it said Cleveland across them, we wore the browns on our pants. I have my own last name customized on one of those. I like the white. I got three, four white jerseys and the rest all brown and, you know what I mean, uh, fresh jerseys. I'll tell you what, Punch, next time I come down your way, <coughs> I'm looking for it. Uh, I want to drop you off these jerseys if you want them. Brand new ones, man. Baker Mayfield's rookie rush jerseys and everything. See what I'm saying? Baker pissed me off bad. And I got some badass called prism cards and shit. You know how me and Red are with the cards. Shit. All I gotta do is look and I'll find one. <laughs> I just hit the double air Mark McGuire there the other day, my man. And uh, the Bo Jacksons too. Everybody, everybody's after my Bo Jacksons because I got the Bo Nose best and shit. You know what I mean, Bo Nose football, blah blah blah. And if you get the uh, era card of like, I got Frank Thomas's rookie. If you get the no name or you can get the no name and the bubble gum. He's got a piece of bubble gum stuck to his leg right here. You know what I mean? When he's bending down, if you look at it, that's the error in it. You see what I'm saying? I swear. Because he snapped it off his leg in real life. You see what I'm saying? When he seen it there when he ran. Because he, you know, shooting, shooting a gun. He spit it out as his run that stuck to his knee there and he smacked it off. A couple cards are shot like that, and a couple are, you see what I'm saying? That's what makes it in there. But yeah, I love my Mustangs, man. That's it. Hey, the hoof beats louder than the heartbeat. And that first fucking sticker on, I put on my car. When the paint job's done, it's gonna be, I'll rock your ass like my old one, and bad company in the front, and white. On that, but like this. I mean, white and black like this, of course. That's how it'll be highlighted my car, but it's got a matte black. It's beautiful. Beautiful. You can't see the reflection. You see what I'm saying? But then you, it's it's awesome. It's a matte. But when you get up on it to you, you can see it. You know what I mean? It's fucking bad. It's a new paint they got out. My brother showed it to me. And that's definitely probably what I'm going to go with in the Onyx. Because that's what the color my truck was, and I love that fucking collar in that truck. That was beautiful. I don't know where my buddy is, man. I ain't gonna be up all night waiting on your ass, motherfucker. You know what I mean? Shit. Alright. Hold on. Let's 
I, I, I keep my shit. I can't get that open where I ain't got no nails. Yeah, I barely did. Always keep, you always keep your extra plant under the cotton if you know anything about that. And don't lift the peel. Just stick it in a hole. If it had hair around it, huh? You wouldn't miss. Where I keep my extra plants and shit. I don't know exactly how much to add. It's crazy. As soon as you see a start of water at the top, stop and killed it like that. It's not water, it's fucking fluid. And it don't bother me. People's like, dude, you're crazy. You'll get it all over your hand, Jeff. As soon as I light my lighter, I'll burn my hand. You know, just vapor instantly. Of course. Bam. There she is. She's back. I keep plants, wicks, all that shit because I love my brown dishes. I had to go replace this one actually. I told y'all about, uh, me laying my brown zippo down when I was pumping my fucking gas, man. Somebody fucking stole it, piece of shit. I don't know if anybody's commenting or anything because it's not showing nothing. It just shows me, uh, I had Jeremiah Householder come in last year. I love how it burns people's ass on. I've heard a lot of people tell me it's burned their ass on there, that on YouTube where I'm clean and you know what I mean. They just want me. To, who would want somebody that's fighting an addiction, trying to you know what I mean, make a life and shit to fall on their face? Only a piece of shit would do that, in my opinion, and a lot of others' opinion. Because anybody I know doing it, I'll support you. I'll, I'll any help you need, anything, give me a call. We do recover, people. I've not been in my group for a week because of the business. I've been groups, real groups, and sick and stuff. Uh, I had the Bills playing the Niners there, and every time, I don't know what they do against Cincinnati there. Uh, now it looks like probably Kansas City and uh, San Francisco. Mahomes against Purdy. It looks like me, but I'm going to stick with my son. You know, my son said he predicted right off the bat 49ers Bengals. So I got 49ers winning it all. But I went to the Chiefs. I was like, 49ers Chiefs, 49ers wins the Super Bowl. I've had an okay day, uh, Ian, man, I've been my fucking, my allergies have been killing me, for one, you know, I've been back and forth, so busy, people don't get it, man, you know what I mean, what this shit has caused me, what all this has caused me, this is dumb fucking into you. that's what drugs do for you people, that's what it causes you, months and months of torment and running and probations and this and that and blah 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 i'm not on probation i just see my the probation officer is over top of where you know what i mean the day report center i just go to a day report center that he just makes sure that you know what i mean he makes the recommendation to the judge of course and his recommendation right now is the boy's done excellent, you know what I mean? He goes to the groups he ain't supposed to go to. He recommends zero days in jail for the case to be dismissed. So does my lawyer. So I think February 8th, we'll get this took care of. Is he going for John Jones is? I used to like Jones a lot, man. They ain't even want to, no, that's a what's his name that crawls up in there, into there. Uh, but I like John Jones, man. He can throw down. I'm trying to get it took care of, Ian. You know what I mean? So hard I am, Bubby. You know what I mean? I've, I've almost got it, you know? We getting there with it. We getting there with it, Bub. Patience rules all. I'm a, I'm a deer hunter and a bow hunter. I have a lot of fucking patience. I've killed I can't count the deers I've killed. 
when you can do that with bows and shit, that means you've got patience. You know what I mean? You gotta sit and wait hours on hours before you can take a shot with a gun or a bow. You talk to one hell of a deer hunter right here. I found it, brother. Told you I would. I told you where it'd be too. In that damn chair I said in. Right instead of being in like the cushion where I laying on the side of it. I knocked it off and it was down over in the side of it is what it was. On the outside of it, in between it and the box. I was like, well, motherfucker. I spotted it and I got that peripheral vision. I was like, there it is. I got happy as hell when I spotted it. And this is my fourth brown zip over because the other three have been stolen, motherfuckers. And my most precious Zippo is in the safe the police took. <laughs> that's, has my, that's the safe, the lighter that the bone of my fucking sister's husband, Eric, that was engraved from your wife, Penny. I love you. Happy anniversary. Never had been lit. Nothing. Beautiful Zippo. Man. I'm so pissed about it. I want it back and keep safe, whatever. That's all I want. It's my sister Zippo. It's in a case. Zippo, holding case for your side. She always made sure he had the best, and he, and he always made sure she had the best. There's a big chance I might be back up, Meg. I can't wait, you know what I mean? I didn't even see that as a brand new point. Brand thinking new. I bought them for my brother because he draws. And he only draws with ink. He likes paper and ink. And where I tattoo, that's what I like to stand for. But I got to wait for my new uh, hydrographic high, ink or whatever the fuck it's called, however they say it, where you can spray and wipe it and it's still there. You should see my portfolio, guys. My most recent tattoos, cover-ups and shit I've done. I've been keeping the documentation of them. They're fucking awesome. I've been getting customers out the ass getting tats. I've had two or three come from out of state. I had three come from Kentucky. Over the past year. Three from Kentucky, two from uh, Tennessee, and one from Ohio. Came and got tattoos from me. This one girl got uh, Jalen up her arm. You know what I mean? Real pretty. And the way I did it, she, she, she couldn't believe it because I made it old English. Like my back is, you know what I mean? Of course, it's like how the old English is supposed to be covered in, but in the middle, all the way up the middle, I let her pick her his first home collar and we put that in. She's like, damn, I didn't know you could do that. And I was like, do a lot of things. You gotta see it before you fucking, you know, put it down. I said, dude, I don't charge much at all. I just charge, you know what I mean, to replace my fucking shit. I use basically make about ten dollars twenty on every tattoo because I I don't wanna you know what I mean be a fucking tattoo artist that charges people fucking hundreds and I'll give you a half sleep for two seventy five. You tell me anywhere you find a motherfucker you a half sleep for two seventy five done by me. First of all, you see what I'm saying? I could have get, I can get five, six hundred easy out of them. I'm mixing my powder up, mixed drink up and that when I do that. But if you want to get a tattoo, we'll set you up an appointment. I got all the paperwork. I got my license. I got everything. You pick it, I stick it, my brother. My brother can draw anything you want. Anything you want. That costs a little bit more, of course. Because we're drawing your uh, tattoo. You see what I mean? And it's unique. It's one of a kind. It's not no flash. And I got all the flash in the world you want to look at. You see what I mean? But we, you want fucking custom. 
You know, I hate when I see a tattoo and I'm like, I've seen that a hundred times. You know, like the praying hands. How many people have them? Why not when you do the praying hands, add Jesus or something? Or You know what I mean? you got to add on to that to make it unique, custom, one of a kind. See what I mean? I don't want to be wearing any. Every tattoo I have are one of a kind. Everyone. Like this one. People ask me why it's built like that and shit right there. Because how it comes together, the rest of it, has to go like that. I get questioned about that all the time. It's like, dude, you took like a chunk out of them and made them. I was like, yeah, because when. But look how they start. They start in the key. Beautifully. That's how it's supposed to be. Just like that. I took a lighter and lit it. See how that plane goes behind that, behind that? That's how it would be. Not wouldn't it? That's how a fucking plane starts. Like this. And so many people miss that right there. That key spot. Look what I'm talking about. On each side of my wrist. You see the keys? Right here. And right there. It's like somebody striking a lighter. See it? And coming up. That's the key to a plane right there. I did that myself, by the way. And now I gotta lock the rest of it in. You know what I mean? And some cheese and shit. Cheese in. You know what I mean? And we'll have her done. I've just been so busy, I ain't even had time for shit like that. I've been focusing mostly right now on my music because I got a, a very good plan. I like that music and skateboard related because I used to skate. I still got my, you know, I still got my, you know how, you know how X Games used to be sponsored under boards like Mountain Dew shit like that, and they stopped doing that. I real, I got my original Santa Cruz still with the original Mountain Dew logo in it, motherfuckers. On eBay for sixteen hundred bucks, I would you know, take a dime for mine because it's not the sticker; it's on the board. You don't see that no more. A sponsor on the X Games on your board. You know what I'm talking about? That was only done at the beginning of the X Games. They sponsored like that. You know. Sorry, guys. My I just took my allergy medicine. I was going all day today, and I was like, man, my allergies are killing me because when they die out, or I get into a place like one of my friends' house that's got, you know, something I'm allergic to, it eats me up. Tears my fucking nose up. Yeah, just send me a, you know what I mean, DM, we'll get it all took care of, my man, whatever you want, you know what I mean, draw you up a badass skater die or something <laughs> i still got tony hawk's pro skater one and two but it's the remakes of course you know what i mean that little boy wearing that champion hat that shit used to be dollar store shit i hate that people wear a champion might as well start wearing starter too <laughs> it's awesome i'm serious it was the same price starter and champion am i wrong guys when we was young Champion was cheap shit, dollar store shit. People were champion when people made fun of you. People shouldn't be making fun of people anyway, anyhow, at any time. See, that's an older movie. I like seeing that. That little boy had that champion hat on. Fishing, you know, because my son will wear them. But he always wears Bass Pro Shop and uh, Cabela's when he fishes. He has a ton. He has like a collection of them. Every time we go to Cabela's, he'll get rabbit. Different color bass pro shop hat. He has the pink one, black one, gray one, teal one. You name it, he has it, I guarantee it. Because they're six bucks, you know what I mean? Yeah, that, see, I kept all my shit like that. My Kobe jerseys, all that. My son's got my Iverson jerseys, my Kobe, and they're all original before death. They're worth thousands now. You know what I mean? Like you're saying. Yep. He's got all my shoes, my 85 graffiti bread. That's a $600 pair of shoes. 
She got my other breads. I'm getting ready to give him my other breads now and get another pair. I always give him, you know what I mean? But when I buy me something, I usually buy the same thing for him, like Nick Chubb jersey. And bitches are 159 fucking dollars from my NFL.com. But that's what he wanted, and I wanted one, so. 370 some dollars. Oh well, we got what we wanted. Oh, dude. And I, he's got the, uh, I bought him the Jordan jersey. It was 300 itself, depending on the fucking black pinstripe. Oh, I love it. I wanted to keep it in my wallet. I got, it's got authenticity with it and everything. He rocks that motherfucker. You know what I mean? He's got some nice ones. He's got my Pat White jersey. Autographed. See what I mean? Autograph. Dolphins, Miami Dolphins. I heard one of y'all say y'all's a Dolphins fan. I forgot to tell y'all that. I have a Pat White, you know what I mean? Autograph jersey there. Miami. And it's fucking sweet as hell. It's got the teal and the burnt orange. I like that. That's nice. I'm still waiting on my buddy. I'm going to give him like 15 more minutes to say, you, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah, just send me a DM, man, and we'll get on it. Everybody, have a wonderful night, and I hope you enjoy talking. And if you need to talk about anything, like I said, just give me a direct message, especially about, you know, uh, if you're dealing with some kind of addiction, something like that, you send me a direct message, and we will talk. I will not ignore your messages. You've asked people. Yeah, I got both. I was getting ready to say, I can tell you that. Uh, you're getting ready to be a little bit wrong about that. Miles Garrett is passing Denzel Ward's sales right now. You know what I mean? Almost. And then it's going, that's a, how it goes. It's like they're saying, it goes Chubb, Ward, Garrett right now. Right or wrong? In Joku. Tell me how to do my shit. I bet they're like, damn, he knows. You're fucking right, I know. I love this team, you understand, Kelly. I live there, and my son's up there right now, you know what I mean? In Brunswick. Number two is Miles Garrett. Number three is Denzel Ward now. Should be, you know what I mean? Because he's passing. Because I just ordered Ward. That's crazy you said that. Because that's who you want. You want the Warden, you want Chubb, and you want Garrett, and then Joku. They signed the five-year contracts. That, as long as we got them... We know we can build around them. Guys, remember that. They signed all them last year, and they've got four more years, and you got Watson out there with them now and Cooper. I want to see that one year, and we'll be good. See what I'm saying? Just like yesterday, passed him in the cells because of that clowny shit and shit, remember? Because clowny said he only played, uh, had, he had to go up against harder competition. Miles called him out on his shit. He said, dude, you only play on third downs. <laughs> you got to play on every down, pussy. That's what he's telling him. Dog Brunson, he's getting it off, you know what I mean? That's not, we got to think he's looking for one target, you know what I mean? His red target's going to be Cooper every time. we got to fill that void. David Bell is a good receiver. Give him a chance, man. You know what I mean? So the Donovan People Jones. Now, it's his third season. He's going to be very good. They should have signed Higgins back, and they let him go with Baker. That was dumb. Jarvis is the one they should have kept. Jarvis and Cooper together would have been amazing. I thought so. With uh, Watson throwing the ball. We're going to have a good year when we got Watson out there for a whole year. I promise you. We're going to be winners, man. Look what, look what he did. You know what I mean? I mean, you were seeing that what he did in Houston in, in, in the first game, second game. By the fourth game there, he was getting in the flow and it's not on him when he's got to take a sack and lose the game because he can't get that's called a coverage sack that means he ain't got nobody to fucking throw it to 
Yeah, that's what I was going to say, draft him. See, when we draft these six foot four, six foot two bad motherfuckers like Donovan Peoples Jones, fifth round. See, that's why we gave a round, uh, uh, all of our first picks and that $230 million five year contract to Watson. That's how bad we wanted him to build that quarterback boy. So we don't have to worry about a fucking quarterback in Cleveland for the next five years. You see what I mean? That's exactly why they did that, and I would too. Okay, now build around that quarterback. He's got badass running backs. We have a badass running back. Kareem Hunt's gone. That, he, that's done been announced. Now we just hired Jimmy Swartz. He said he's going to unleash the Denzel Ward. He's bringing, he, we're looking to bring, you know, we're looking at Fletcher Cox already. And he's still playing in the playoffs and talking to us about playing in Cleveland next year because Jim Schwartz drafting him. And then Mar he drafted Mario Williams to Buffalo. He's going to be a fucking key for us, Jim Schwartz, with a great hire. Watch. He's going to unleash Miles Garrett and a great pick for West Virginia with that boy from West Virginia that broke the record. That's hard to do. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Fletcher will come. He's done talking about it. London, Fletcher, you know what I mean? That's going to be fucking... We're going to be good, man. We're going to have a better... Go ahead, Clowney. That's why we cut you, because we know what Swartz can bring. And Fletcher, you know, see what I mean? You know your shit. Swartz brought some of the best defensive tackles to ever play in this game. We're looking at that Chiefs one, too. You know what I mean? Cameron Payne. We're going to have a badass defensive tackle. Trust me. We're talking to all of them right now. That's our main focus, that defensive tackle. You see what I mean? We need that rush in the middle and off both edges. Uh, Clowney was outplayed by the backup. You know that, right? That young rookie we drafted. The white boy. He's tearing it up better than Clowney was. I swear to God. What's up, BJ? Not much shooting the shit here about the brownie there with the, uh, Kelly and uh, Cal. They're Browns fans like me, so. And I'm beat to Bill, you know. But anyway, I, I see us having a great season. That's why I was telling my cousins and stuff there last night on here. We get our uh, that running back. I love him. That backup out of Cincinnati, man, that was a great pick. The number that dude. They went on the fucking beat and went to the national title game on most people. That dude's badass. He run. He's got the body of Chubb. He's number 34, 24, and thirty four. You know what I mean? They're fucking tank. He's a tank. I love him. And I'll tell you who else is going to be a great running back if Chicago would use him right. And Chicago got Chris uh, Chase Claypool. See what I mean? They're going to turn their shit up and get a that quarterback. Justin Fields his head out of his ass. <laughs> Bleed the Browns. You know how I am with the Browns. Man. I mean, I'll tell you what, I've been a Browns fan almost my whole life. And... I'll probably die. I don't want to die waiting for us to fucking raise our throne when we should have raised our throne there a couple of years ago when Kansas City fucking ham with the ham with us, knocked Higgins out and caused us to fumble on the one yard line. We was going to win the Super Bowl that year. Baker Mayfield was on fire. He had we just was just in sync with everybody. And then Joku is doing what they finally unleashed him. Thank you, thank you. I'm telling you, you know, we played them. Yeah, we got robbed by Kansas City. You're fucking right we did. You know, everybody said Cleveland should have been on to the next round, one game away from the Super Bowl. <laughs> we would have played Buffalo, and they fell straight on their face to Kansas City, remember? We would have walked right into the fucking Super Bowl, and we would have won it. I'm telling you, we would have beat the Rams. We would have beat the fucking Rams. Jarvis in the Super Bowl. You know what I mean, Chubb? You know how pumped that city would be. The moment we make the Super Bowl, I'm on my way to Cleveland. Yes, thank you. We did have the best team in the NFL that year. People need to recognize that. We're getting robbed a lot here if you look. 
if Watson, when we picked up Watson, he, you know, that was all on Houston's organizations. They sent all them masseuses up to his fucking room. Houston paid the fucking fines, you know that, right? To the women, not to Sean Watson. So what's that tell you? Okay, then the next day a girl in Cleveland accuses him of it because of this. She seen the bitches get paid. That wasn't Watson, bitch, that did it. Cleveland's organizations and you never know, he come here to get a fucking, you know what I mean, rub down because he's a football player, you know, he needs to be loose. Yes, it was. It's irreplaceable and the, the drive he had, he was, the, he's, in my opinion, the best blocking wide receiver in the fucking game. Yeah, he had a hold of people for us. He wouldn't let him go. He'd slam him. I loved it. Him and Lattimore got into it in that Saints game and shit. Hmm, boy. That's Denzel Ward's roommate and shit. I mean, Lattimore's Ward. Imagine him too. But, wait, thank you. Look how good Greg Newsom is. You know what I mean? Look, Grant Del Pitt's been Grant Del Pitt now. We're turning into a fucking team. That's why I was so mad, man, that Carl Joseph come there. He's the one that fucking scored the touchdown against, you know what I mean? The fucking, uh, you know what I'm saying? No, that's what I'm saying. And what's his name? Never dropped on that, but for what uh, other team, if it hits his hands, it's a touchdown. If it's got to hit, if it hits Jarvis Landry, he's way better than fucking Odell. That's who taught Odell. Jarvis goes more for the, you know what I mean? When we had Jarvis, he'd go more for the two-hand catch. You only go one hand when you got to go one hand. Did you see the catch the other night by George Kittle? He stops the ball. That's what you do if you can and try to deflect it where you can catch it. Well, it comes up on his head, rolls down his fucking arm, and he catches it for the game-winning drive for the San Francisco 49ers. That's why I have been winning. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. Their best friends and shit. I understand that. They should have, you know what I mean, kept their heads out of their ass. But Odell didn't want to be there. Why, why did you come then? Jarvis wanted you there with him. And then he said, I don't want to be here. Well, why the fuck did you come, man? Because Jarvis caught him on his shit, remember? He said, if you're going to play, don't come out and play half-ass ball. Play for throttle like I know you can. He told him, you know what I mean, if he left and shit, uh, like uh, if Kareem Hunt left, Nick Chubb was going to leave. But we're going to trade Kareem Hunt. That's already been announced and we're clowning. It's going to cut. Yeah, absolutely. Birdie, Purdy's out. I've got them winning the Super Bowl. Imagine if that's Trey Lance or Grappolo. You know what I mean? Look who, what he is sitting there with, you know what I mean, digital things showing him. This is what you need to do. This is, you know what I mean? That talk, t Tom Brady taught. Garoppolo is sitting right there. That's one big thing, you know. Garoppolo came back, uh, was able to come to that game, that game against the fucking Cowboys there, and that's who was sitting there right beside of him, helping him. Did you see that one? A seventh round pick sat there and let a guy go right by him. Bam! Right to the fucking end zone. And Brandon I Oop dropped it in the game to get him there. That was beautiful. That's some Tom Brady shit. He was watching that defender come right at him. He knew he was going to take a hit. And he faked that defender out. And he went right by him and said, pow. I said, that's how you fucking play quarterback. Right there. And did you see how he sidearmed that ball? To Christian McCaffrey, it looked like the ball actually curved. That boy's special. Patrick Mahomes, my ass, motherfucker. This motherfucking boy threw a ball like this. He didn't try to come out and curve it like this. He threw it like this, and the ball went. I swear to God. For a fucking 20 yard pickup, it was big. That right there, Brock Party is going. To do something special, guys. He's gonna be the first rookie quarterback to win a Super Bowl. And guess what? He just said he's Mr. Irrelevant, the very last pick in the NFL draft. Exactly. I said all that last night, you know what I mean? 
Roger sat behind Far, Brady, Jimmy G, Trusses in the pudding. Do you hear me say that all the time? And my cousin was like, no, I wouldn't want Brady on our team. What the fuck? What? If he didn't start or not, I want Brady on our team. With Deshaun Watson and, you know what I mean, uh, Brissett, Brissett's done, we done got him for a trade option too. There's 10 teams want him as a starter already, what he proved as. You see what I mean? And Cleveland understands that he wants to go be successful somewhere. That's very understandable. He's a number one quarterback. He is no longer a backup, and he proved that. A lot of Browns saying wanted to keep him, guys. They want to keep him in, let him run that, you know what I mean? I, I, I did. I want him instead of, uh, I want him there. I always drink my black silk coffee, you know what I mean? At night, I think a little Machine. Here I popped in. You know, have one come to the top. Pops to the bottom. Pops to the top. Bang. Okay. Yeah, but I think Cleveland's gonna come on. They could be the. You know what I mean? 2023-2024 Super Bowl champions. Very possible. They could have been the Super Bowl champions the past few years, but injuries, this, that, you know what I mean, with what we dealt with. Watson, we thought we was going to have Watson for a lot more games than we did. Remember the suspension? The woman only made it fucking 10 games, and Roger Goodell had five more. That was bullshit. That was bullshit. That's double jeopardy to me. You can't be tried for something twice. Everybody was saying that. If you've done been punished once, you see what I mean, by the person Roger Goodell chose to handle this, you see what I'm saying? He chose this woman, his self, a judge, gave him a 10-game suspension, then Goodell repeals. Why the fuck you reappeal on that, dude? Uh, he got, he, that's just like in court. You cannot do, do that. That's double fucking jeopardy. You, you charging someone twice. You ever seen the movie Double Jeopardy? Jashley Judd gets accused of killing her husband, goes to jail for manslaughter, murder. You know what I mean? Okay, gets out. Okay, gets out, right? When she, when she gets out, she kills the motherfucker. And they can't do nothing to her. Now she's done being acquitted, uh, convicted of the crime. And done the time. You can't do it twice. Ain't that right, OJ? <laughs> you know, that's the shit that pisses me off right there in life, guys. What I just said right there. I'll tell you a good thing to make, too, if you have enough coffee. Make you some instant coffee. Yeah, a good day. Amen. Judge, jury, and execution. Exactly what that son of a bitch is. I say that same. I say the same thing about him all the time. Piece of shit, motherfucker. I don't like him. Sorry. I can't wait till a new commissioner is hired to the NFL. Did you? You, you gotta be open to new ideas. Look what Adam Silver, Silverman, has done to the NBA. It's a much better game now, right, guys? Than what they was running. There, that Sturm was running right where he passed, you know, he didn't see no shit, he's old. Adam Silver, has that shit nice, you know what I mean? I think so. Yeah, I love my m and I got an m and m set cup, you know. A set of them, a red one and a blue one, it's my favorite cup, coffee cups. But anyway... Everybody have a wonderful night. My buddy just texted, said he's on his way. I said, okay, hurry up, because I'm going to bed soon. I want everybody that has any problems, don't hesitate to get a hold of me. Have a wonderful night.